The Integrated Accessibility Standards Regulation helps make Ontario accessible to people with disabilities and is part of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act 2005. This video debunks some of the myths businesses may have about people with disabilities. The Human Resources Professionals Association presents today's exciting episode, Harold Jeepers and Accessibility, Myths versus Reality. This is Harold. He is a manager at Jiffy Brothers Industries. He is having a pleasant conversation with his boss. This is Sonia. She is Jiffy Brothers' go-to HR person and a certified human resources professional. Harold has finished his conversation. He looks unhappy. Sonia asks if anything is the matter. Harold tells Sonia that they might have to slow down their accessible HR initiative. But it's been a big success, says Sonia. Management is worried about moving too quickly, says Harold. Why? says Sonia. He doesn't know and now he has to make a big presentation to convince management to keep moving forward. Sonia says she hopes his PowerPoint skills are sharp. Harold wishes he had all the answers. Welcome everyone to Myth or Reality, the game show where we find out what's myth or reality about people with disabilities. Our first contestant is Harold Jeepers. He's a manager at Jiffy Brothers, and this is his dream, so it would be weird not to be in your own dream, right? Lisa Klimkow, a warehouse manager whose hobbies include skeet shooting and anime embroidery. And finally, Carl Keener is an insurance adjuster and an expert in Hungarian breakfast music. Now, put your hands together for the host of Myth or Reality, Sonia! Sonia says hi to everyone and pulls out the first question card. Myth or Reality? Jeffy Brothers will have to hire unqualified people just because they have a disability. Harold buzzes first. Reality, says Harold. Incorrect, says Sonia. Anyone? Sonia realizes that something is wrong. Carl has not been properly accommodated and calls for the accommodation ferry. <laughs> Sonia thinks that's much better. And Carl seems much happier. Sonia asks Carl for the answer. Myth, says Carl. Employees must meet all their requirements of the job and perform the essential functions of the job with or without accommodation. That's absolutely right! <laughs> Next question, myth or reality? People with disabilities take more sick days than anyone else. Harold buzzes in first again. Reality, says Harold. Incorrect, says Sonia. Lisa buzzes in and signs, Myth. People with disabilities make good employees who have a positive impact on the companies with which they work, including having lower absenteeism and higher retention rates than employees without disabilities. Great answer, Lisa. Next question, myth or reality? Sign language interpreters will have to be stationed everywhere. Ah, uh, reality, says Harold. Incorrect, says Sonia. Anyone? Lisa signs, myth, of course. Do you think I have the time to hang out with everyone to do this? I wouldn't get any work done, honey. That is correct, says Sonia. Upon request, information and communications can be provided in an accessible manner to your customers. 
In many situations, this is as simple as providing written materials or exchanging notes. I'd like to point out that giving your customers the information they need to buy from you is just good business. Last question, says Sonia. Are you ready? People with disabilities want to be treated just like everyone else. Myth, says Harold proudly. Carl and Lisa turn to Harold and tell them to please stop guessing. How does he think they want to be treated? Harold turns to Carl and Lisa and says, Just like everyone else. You have been watching Disability Myths vs. Reality. The story you have just seen is real, but the names have been changed to keep the accommodation fairy out of their dreams.